In an unassuming building in Westfield, Union County, there is tension in the air and a little hollow ball, the tick and tock of which have made table tennis one of the world's favorite sports. It certainly places high on Norman Haas's list. Norman's in training, in fact, for the Paralympics in Seoul just after the regular games in October. We've adjusted my style of game to maximize my strengths to minimize my weaknesses. Not the least of which weaknesses is the result of an accident Haas had as a child. One leg simply never caught up with the other. But he's got a very good attitude towards training. Soon about to make a large improvement. Norman Haas will be one of only six handicapped table tennis players to represent the U.S. at the games. As you can see, it's somewhat physically demanding. Well, this was actually the only sport that I could engage in competitively. Because although there's a lot of movement, it's pr primarily quickness and upper body movement. Norman, a lot of people don't think table tennis is much of a sport. What do you think? Actually, I think it's one of the most grueling sports, especially played at the highest level, world championship level. The average age for world champion is 22. How old are you? 32. But you're going to I think so. Could anyone think otherwise? Best of luck there, Norman. See you in Seoul. Frank Tenzar, New Jersey Network News, Westfield. Good evening, everyone. I'm Matt Lachlan. Welcome to Time In. Tonight, I'm joined by Mike Brown, the former standout at Our Lady of the Valley and Clifford Scott High Schools, who played for the Chicago Bulls this past season. Well, today, Mike found out that he'll be playing in a new part of the country, as he was selected by the Charlotte Hornets in the NBA expansion draft, and then subsequently traded for Kelly Tribuca to the Utah Jazz. If you'd like to speak with Mike, you can give us a call at 636-5333. Also tonight, I'll have an interview with Norman Haas, who will be representing the United States in the upcoming Paralympic Games in Seoul, South Korea. Right now, we're going to take a short business break, but don't go away. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to Time In. I'm Matt Lachlan. If any of us were involved in an auto accident at age six, leaving one leg shorter than the other, and subsequently we had to go under five major reconstructive surgeries, I'm sure most of us would feel that life had dealt us a cruel blow. But not Norman Haas. The 32-year-old Montclair resident left today for Miami, Florida, where he'll participate in the U.S. Table Tennis Open Championships this weekend. But you'll have to excuse him if perhaps he thinks ahead to October when the 8th Annual Paralympic Games will be held in Seoul, South Korea. Approximately 4,400 athletes will participate from over 60 countries throughout the world, um, sponsored by their respective Olympic committees also. And uh, I'll be seeing some of the finest athletes in the world. Not only are they excelling at their sport, but they're overcoming disability as well. Must be a wonderful thrill. Uh, it's incredible. Uh, Never having been outside uh, of the country, uh, this is a big first trip, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. For the past four months, Haas has been working out three times a week with John Shereshian at the New Jersey Table Tennis Club in Westfield. Well, Norman uh, is limited somewhat in his movement by his disability. However, he's been able to work around that uh, by staying close to the table, which uh, limits the amount he's got to move to play and he's been very successful in overcoming his ability and plays a very strong aggressive game and you'll see Norman miss quite a bit but by playing very aggressive shots he's able to keep his opponent off balance and hopefully win enough points to win the game despite his inconsistencies. In February Haas took a leave of absence from his job in his full-time pursuit of a gold medal at the Paralympic Games. It's tough uh, you really you have to maintain your intensity to play table tennis I think uh, Probably as with all sports, 90% of it is mental. I can win a game at 21-6 or lose a game at 21-6 just because of a slight mental shift, uh, a concentration or intensity. It's, it really is like a job now. Uh, it's rarely fun, uh, but I have a goal that I want to meet. It's worth it. When Haas suffered his accident at age six, 
His father bought a table, and he and Norman began a nightly ritual of playing the game. Unfortunately, Norman's father passed away late last year. Well, he was always my prime supporter, and I'm sure he's watching through all of this. And it was partially through his financial help that enabled me to take this time off uh, to train. So he'll be, with, he'll be with me there in Seoul. Haas is the 1988 National Disabled Champion, having won that title last month. In South Korea, the competition will be very difficult, to say the least. The Europeans will provide the strongest competition, but Shereshian feels that Haas will give a good accounting of himself. If you'd like to help Norman in his quest for a gold medal, you can make a contribution to the Norman Haas slash USODA fund at 340 Orange Road, number 209, Montclair, 07042. Norman Haas USODA fund, 340 Orange Road, number 209, Montclair, New York. That's great stuff. That's great stuff. That's great stuff.
All right, that's good. Yeah.